It's another World Cup Grand Final as we bring the 2010 season to a close. We started with stage one in Porich, Croatia back in May. We had some new shooters coming on the scene, some new stars, serving up notice that they were going to be around all season. Canada's Ashley Wallace making it big with a win. Sam Kiritsoglu of Belgium also making a big win. Sabrina Streff with her first big win in international competition. And the American archer Brady Ellison putting his foot firmly on the world stage. From Porich, we went on to Antalya, Turkey in June. This hot Mediterranean seashore climate made for some hot scores as well. Top performances from stars that we'd see again later in the season included this one from Victoria Koval of Ukraine. China's Jing Zhu. America's Erica Anschutz. And the Green Hornet of Lithuania, Vladis Sagaskis. From there, we went to the dry desert climate of Ogden, Utah in the United States of America. The scenic and breezy Rocky Mountains also brought out the Korean team for the first time this season, and the Koreans made their mark known. Kim Mu Jong versus Kibo Bay for the final. Oh Jin Hyuk versus Mr. Kim. We saw Sandrine Vandianon taking on the Vegas champion, Doris Jones, for victory. And it was Braden Galantine, a fixture of the World Cup circuit, beating Jorge Jimenez, a bit of revenge, after Braden and Jorge had gone at it several times in the past. From Ogden, we went on to hot and steamy Shanghai, China. Temperatures pushing more than 44 C and humidity more than 95 percent, it was absolutely a steam bath in this southern Chinese city. Once again, the Koreans came out, and once again, the Koreans stayed on top. British archer Nikki Hunt showing that she shoots as well in Asia as she does in Europe, taking the win. It was Sean Teasdale and Kus Devet of South Africa in the final, and Sean Teasdale took his win to seal his place for the grand final in Edinburgh. Kibo Bay, the 2008 university champion, taking her steps onto the world stage for the first time. The world silver medalist, Im Dong Hyung, in a big rematch of the world championship final against his teammate and world champion, Mr. Lee, this time taking the gold. From Shanghai now on to Edinburgh for the World Cup final, the 32 best in the world in four categories, 150,000 US dollars at stake, and it's going to be a party here in Scotland. Let's get to it. Compound bronze medal match, starting out with Sean Teasdale and Roger Willett Jr., the second encounter between these two in the World Cup this year after Antalya, Turkey. That time, the American archer had won five to three, but Sean Teasdale is determined to prevent that from happening again here today. Sean Teasdale, born in 1988, his opponent, a lot more experienced, Roger Willett Jr., a 3D shooter before coming onto the world stage in 2007 in Leipzig. Roger is turning 48 this year. It was a close match all the way up to this point. Roger Willett Jr. now at match point after a perfect end in the last end. Sean Teasdale is going to be shooting first. Roger leads 4-2, six set points will take the win. 
So, Sean Teasdale has to outright win this one. Great start. Ten. Ten if you look at Sean's target, you see it's just a little loose. A lot of nines. Let's have a look at Roger's target in a moment. Roger's shooting with good timing, solid shot. And, eight, ten, and you can see it, Roger's target definitely looking a lot tighter. Sean needs to keep the pressure up. He absolutely needs a 10 here if he wants to try to keep the pressure on Roger. Ah, bad shot. Eight points. You know, most normal people would be pretty happy with an eight, but not at this level. Roger can close the door with a couple of tens. And now he can even afford a nine, and he'll still have the match. And Sean with a nine to finish. It's going to be lights out if Roger puts it in the gold. It is done. Roger Willett Jr. taking his first bronze medal at the world level. Big show from Roger Willett Jr., the winner of the bronze medal match. Recurve bronze medal match featuring a couple of great shooters. We've got Kibo Bay of Korea versus Justyna Moshbenek of Poland. Now, it was a smooth start for the recurve women's bronze medal match between Kibo Bay and Yusina. 10, 7, and 9 had Yusina taking a 2 0 lead over Kiyo. It opened with an 8 8 9. In the second set, this Korean shooter benefited from a low 6 shot by her contender, come back and tie the match at 2 all. Third set also to the benefit of Key with 27 points as we come into this. This is the fourth and final set. Kibo Bay wins this set and she wins the bronze. Yusina Moshbenek wins and she forces a tie and at least one more set. Here comes Yusina Moshbenek. Not badly shot, nine points. Conditions have calmed down a bit. It's cool and breezy. And a solid shot from Kibo Bay, the champion of the 2008 World University Championships. Yusina with a solid shot, 10, 10 points. That is what you've got to have if you want to try to take on a Korean competitor. And another 10 from Kibo Bay. And she has the opportunity to close the door here with one more 10. Yusina needs a really solid shot here. And she didn't get it. Seven points, big falter. Door is open. Kibo Bay can close it out right now. Wow. There it is. Kibo Bay, the new star of the World Cup circuit. A big win. However, some good news for Yusina Moshpanek. She shot enough tens to secure the Longines Precision Prize and has taken the highest number of tens during the whole World Cup season. But Kibo Bay taking the bronze medal 6 2 with a big fourth and final end. Kibo Bay wins the match. The compound gold medal match. It's deja vu all over again. A complete replay of 2009 with an encounter between two great shooters. No, we're not in Copenhagen anymore. We're in Scotland, and it's Brayden Galantine on the stage again. Ranked number one in the world, Brayden Galantine of the United States of America, also the number one ranked shooter in the World Cup circuit. And Sergio Pagni, his nemesis, on target number two. This is exactly as it was last year in Copenhagen, except the shooters are on opposite sides of the shooting field from what they were in the Copenhagen Grand Final. In Copenhagen last year, the Italian came out the winner, 115 to 114, in a match shot according to the former 12-arrow system, not set play. So far, no one has ever successfully defended a World Cup final title, but Sergio Pagni is now in position to do just that because he and Brayton are tied for all. On the line, a 10 for Brayton Gillespie. The Sultan of Smooth, Sergio Pagni, matches a dead center shot.
Braden Galantine oh, opens the door, and you know Braden. If you know Braden, you know Braden does not like that shot. Not a happy man. Sergio, nice and smooth and solidly in the center again. Braden has got to put this one in the ten ring, or he's really opened the door to Sergio. Good shot from Braden. And Galantine answers with a ten. But this is a big opportunity for Sergio Pagni right now. He's got the chance to win. All he has to do is put it right dead center. And he does. Sergio Pagni making history, taking the first consecutive World Cup final title. What a huge accomplishment from Sergio Pagni. Unbelievable. What a thriller. Two World Cup gold medals in a row for the Sultan of Smooth, Sergio Pagni. I'm very happy with what I've accomplished here. A little bit proud to be the first to have done this. I believe and I hope to win a third title next year. To win here was difficult and very emotional. And I'm very happy. Well, you ought to be, Sergio. That was a great performance. Now on to the recurve gold medal match. Now, the recurve gold medal match is going to be a firecracker. This is Yoon Ok Kim. We've seen her so many times in the World Cup finals circuit. Yoon has faced her opponent, Victoria Koval of Ukraine, several times before. Victoria, of course, number eight in the world right now, one of the best shooters ever to come out of Ukraine. Now, last time these two faced each other, the Korean archer took the advantage of the Ukrainian archer, 108 to 106 in the 12 arrow match format. Yoon got off to a great start in this match. After four sets right now, she has the upper hand and can take it. She's at match point. It's 5-3 in favor of Yoon Ok. A little long on the timing, just out of the 10 ring for Victoria. You know, Key shooting a good shot. Wow. Solid 10. Perfect classic Korean form. A little faster shot from Victoria. Again, just out of the 10 ring. If you want to see a shot, well, okay, that time maybe not. <laughs> you know, Key with an unusually, uh, let's just call it non Korean follow through, but nevertheless effective. Victoria Caval shooting a nine on that shot. You know, Key's going to have to make an awfully big mistake if she's not going to take the gold right now with this one shot. Whoops, there it is. Eight points. Good enough for You know, Key to take victory with that shot. A gold medal. You know, Key starting strongly, finishing a little bit weakly, but eight was all she needed. Victory, 7-3 after three tries. Finally, gold medal for Yoon ok -hee of Korea and a big win. Nice silver medal for Victoria Caval. Scores are confirmed. It is indeed set, ladies and gentlemen. Yoon ok -hee is your champion. It's hard to describe how I feel. The truth is, it's the first time I've been a champion. And it's not really settled in my mind yet. In my heart, I'm happy, but it hasn't sunk in yet. Time for the recurve bronze medal match, and this is going to be a good one. It's Jay Talagdar of India versus the Olympic champion of 2004, Marco Galeazzo of Italy. This is the fifth 
actually make it the sixth time that these guys have met in the World Cup before. And the Indian leading 4-1 in their five encounters so far. So Marco was eager for revenge. The last encounter was just in Shanghai a couple weeks ago with a big win for Jayant Atalikdar 7-3. Last year, Galeazzo had his win of 111 to 103 under the 12 arrow system. Now, after the first three sets, Jay Talikdar once again in a dominating position over Marco Galeazzo. Let's see if Marco lets it happen or if Jay can take it home with the next three shots. Marco Galeazzo shooting first on target two. Solid shooting, 10 points for Marco. Now, Jay has made his share of mistakes. You'll see a seven in the target, in the uh, seven ring there. That happened in the third set. And uh, that did open the door. Marco came back to 2-4 in the match with a 3-9 end. And now Marco just shot another 9. He needs to keep up the pressure on Jay Talikdar if he wants to force this to another set. Jay with a 9. Oh, a good chance to try to keep this thing going may have just gone out the door. Jay needs to put it in the gold. He puts it in the 10. And Jay Talikdar has taken it now to a sixth time against the great Marco Galeazzo. And he's got five, four, six. And you know Marco's not happy about that, but Jay Talikdar thrilled for the bronze medal here in Scotland. <laughs> now time for the compound bronze medal final and this one is going to be a great show it's the diva ladies and gentlemen andrea gales a great competitor from great britain after some serious shoulder injuries and a serious period of painful rehab Andrea Gales is on the World Cup final stage. What a great performance for her. Erica Anschutz, the great American archer, coming off victory at her, her home country uh, match of uh, Ogden, Utah. And Erica, one of the top shooters in the world right now. Here she comes after having taken out Ashley Wallace in the semifinals against Andrea Gales. And uh, this is going to be a good match. Now, Erica Anschutz had the best start in this match. Earlier on, she had a 10-9-9. Andrea had shot a 9-10-8. So it was 2-0 in favor of Erica Anschutz. But now, in this last set, Andrea Gales coming on strong. So, however, is Erica Anschutz. Erica leading 5-1. Both shooters tied in this set. Andrea has to not only win this set, but also the next if she wants to keep this match going. Erica's not going to let that happen. Andrea's mantra is shoot the bow, with occasionally another word in between the and bow, but <laughs> that was a solid performance nonetheless. And Eric Anschutz showing why she is one of the top ranked shooters in the world, taking the bronze medal with a solid treble 10 at the end. Erica Anschutz, winner of the bronze medal match. Now time for the recurve gold medal final. And this is between two of the most popular competitors on the circuit. And for good reason, they both put on a great show. This guy, Brady Ellison, ranked number two in the world right now. He's ranked number one just a couple of weeks ago. He is in it for the final and also for the Longine Precision Prize. His opponent, the winner of Ogden, Im Dong Hyung, holder of the world record for 70 meters. World silver medalist, one of the most accomplished shooters in our sport today. And here we go. This is going to be a great match as we're into it right now. Brady Ellison with a dominating lead after three sets. It's 5-1 in favor of Brady. But we've seen Im Dong Hyung come from this kind of brink before. In fact, this is when we've seen him shoot at his best. Let's see what happens this time. Huh? Yes, solid 10 points for Im. Here you go, Brady. 
Nice shot. Wow, what an explosive shot. Brady Ellison with a dead center Brady tank. Ellison. Really good performance from both of these shooters. And there is another 10 for Im Dong Hyun. Brady has locked out everyone else for the Longine Precision Prize at this nice stage. Shot. Because no matter how many more sets this goes, Im can't catch him. And there's no one else in a position to catch him. So Brady Ellison has just landed a 3,000 euro Nine. Longine watch as well as a 5,000 franc prize. And that is going to be nice gravy. But let's see about the potatoes. Oh yeah, there it is. Brady Ellison putting the cap on a huge season. And no one better than his dad to be there to share the moment as his coach. Im Dong Hyung and Brady Ellison showing great sportsmanship. What a performance. Brady Ellison of USA, winner of the gold medal. And it's been one great season for Brady Ellison. Absolute domination from the American Archer. I shot, I started off the beginning year really good and I won the first stage and the second and third one. And then I kind of struggled in Ogden and China was a mess, but I kind of found myself here again and just go into off season and shoot a lot and hopefully try to come back the next year the same. Right now, compound gold medal match, and this is the champion of the world, reigning champion of the world from Ulsan, Korea, Albina Loganova of the Russian Federation. She has not been as dominant as she was at the world championships, but she has been shooting well enough to make it to this stage. Ashley Wallace, a surprise winner, the soft-spoken Canadian, surprise winner from Porridge earlier this year, and that is where she made her debut on the World Cup stage. Here she is at the grand final in the gold medal final against the great Albina Loginova. And after four sets, Albina Loginova now in a decisive position. If Albina can force at least a tie, she'll win. However, Ashley Wallace, by outright winning this set, can force a tie and a shoot off. Here's Ashley Wallace. Ten. That is the way you at least put the pressure on. Loganova had as good a start as you can possibly have going into this match. She had an X10, nine. X10, 10 in the very first end. Wallace scoring X10, 9, and 9. Ten. So the first set points had gone to Albina. And she's been dominant all the way through. Ashley certainly putting on the pressure, though, with a pair of 10s. Nine. Not good enough to hold off Ashley Wallace. If Ashley puts another one in the gold, she'll take this set. And that'll force another. Perfectly done. X10, 10, and 10 for Ashley Wallace doing what she had to do, ensuring the two set points. Now we're in a one arrow tiebreaker after this superfluous final arrow from Alvin Loganova. Final arrow is going to be a single arrow tiebreaker. Closest to center will be the winner. It is sudden death, and here it comes. Statistically, shooting a 10 is equivalent to a win so far this season in this shoot-off situation. That isn't it. That is just out, maybe two millimeters out. Albina Loginova has the chance right now to win. She takes it. Albina Loginova showing why she's world champion with the poise needed to put on that final arrow closest to center, taking victory from that one arrow tie break against Ashley Wallace of Canada, showing why she's World Cup champion and individual and team world champion. Albina Loginova, what a great performance. So a big Ochinhara show for Albina Loginova. Super wow. Super wow. I've been asked, am I a queen of September? 
Well, last year I won the world championship. This year again in September, the finals. Yeah, probably September is a lucky month for me. To win big events with a difference of one year is tough. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> and so it comes to an end. Another hugely successful World Cup season 2010 ends in Edinburgh. And Brady Ellison of the United States and Justyna Moshmanek of Poland win the Longines Precision Prize. Some nice frosting on the cake of victory for them. And so it comes to an end. But still ahead, we've got some more great feat of action in this indoor season coming up. The World Archery Challenge. And of course, next year, another great World Cup circuit. We'll see you then.